Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Spider vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackula. And today we're going to be talking about Blood Red Sky, which is a Netflix original movie from Germany. It has been pitched to me multiple times as vampires on a plane, which is accurate. But at the same time, but not the way you yes, expect yeah. necessarily. But at the same time, the movie you have in your head when you hear vampires on a plane, at least for me, is you imagine something like snakes on a plane, where you have a movie where it's like, like it's it, it's like ten little strangers, right? They all right. they all fit like a stereotype, and they're picked off one by one by the snakes until uh, they finally land the plane, and there's like two people left. That's right. That's right. what you imagine the movie's gonna be like. And to a certain extent, there are elements of that in this movie. But what this movie really is, is it's more like Die Hard on a plane. So kind of like Die Hard 2, but instead of an airport, an actual plane um, with a badass mom and terrorists and vampires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, this mom is taking a trip with her kid. Turns out terrorists, terrorists yeah. have decided that they're going to hijack this plane. For what? They never tell you. So mom uh, has to go all die hard on them. And when we get to the spoiler section, we'll talk about the vampire parts of this. Mm -hmm. um, but needless to say, in the middle of this die hard on a plane versus uh, terrorist fucking situation, vampires start fucking erupting around the plane and people start dying and sucking each other's blood. Yeah, because like <laughs> these are these are the quick turn vampires. Yeah, yeah, it kind of kind of they kind of like, like it's like zombie turning rules, uh, you know. 30 you get, days of night. Yeah, you get you get bit within like 10 minutes you're a vampire. Um, and because they're on a plane uh, that's uh, flying at night across uh, the world, they have an extended night period. Yeah. So it's going to be a while before the sun goes up and anything's going to happen to these vampires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to they're going to be in the air like for a good like 9 hours and not see something. They they literally have this really great moment where the kid actually diagrams like since we're going to be leaving here at this time, we're actually going to cross over to the next time zone and it's still going to be night because sundown will have already happened when we got there. Right, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, because you're basically you're 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 following yeah. the sun rather than meeting it. Which I could totally tell that's probably where the initial idea for vampires on a plane happened. Oh like, yeah, I've thought of that on like some international <laughs> flights where yeah. I've just been like, man, it's been 14 hours of just nothing. Yeah. You know, you could you could vampire out here. Live like <laughs> kings. Yeah. Um this movie also has uh, oh god, what the fuck's that actor's name? He's one half of the of the main characters from uh Prison Break, and he's also uh, was it Flame Starter from the Flash, the Flash series, um, or is it? Oh, God damn it, Flame Starter or he's not he's not Captain Cold. He's Captain Cold's partner. Captain Cold's. Oh, you're right. That guy is in this. Yeah, yeah. I forget the name of that character, but I recognize. Yeah, he's the leader of the terrorists. Yeah, he's the terrorist leader. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. I forget what that guy is. Yeah, like, it's because he's not Firefly. Yeah, I'll put both his name on the flash on here as well as his actual actor name because I'm now spacing completely out on it. So. Yeah, I know. I know it's a DC character, so he's got some name like, you know, like Colonel Burn or something yeah. like that, but I can't remember it <laughs> off the top of my head. But uh, he is he is great in this movie because he plays the leader of the terrorists and he is immediately terrifying um, just oh, yeah. because he has one of those presences. Um, so you have like small fucking, uh, small fucking badass mom uh, versus big buff fucking terrorist dude. Um, and then of course vampires. And then vampires happen, <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's fucking great. This movie is gory as all shit. There it's is, very bloody. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, it's actually, um, uh, because people keep pitching it as vampires on a plane, I keep, um, I keep imagining when I was going to go into the movie that I would have a more like, uh, snakes on a plane comedic tone. Yeah, no, it does. It's a very serious movie. Yeah, it, it feels very. It's much more like Die Hard with vampires. Yeah, it takes itself way more seriously, and it actually really works. Like I was yeah. really emotionally invested in the mom and her son, like one hundred percent, and even some of the side characters. Not at first, but as the movie went on, I, I got more. Yeah, in them. yeah. Like the the one thing that the movie does that kind of tricks you <sighs> is that it tell it starts out telling you who one of the survivors is. Yeah, it does. Um, it opens up with one of those, um, uh, it, oh, yeah, you know, they do a cold open. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know how like uh, like uh, Jennifer's body opens up with like her in the prison and then we flash back? It's kind of like that. 
yeah. um, where, we, where we open up with the plane landing and the military surrounding the plane, and then we flash back to what led up to this. Yeah, and in the beginning, I thought that was actually a bad idea until I got we got to the third act. Because there actually is twist to it. Yeah. Because like yeah. what you expecting the answers to be of how we got there is not actually how we got there. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 watching it's watching the series of events unfold. That's what the movie really is. Yeah, absolutely. It's like you're like, all right, all we know is at the end of it, this character's alive. And also, the, where we're at at the end uh, is not exactly what you th where you th we thought we were at when the movie opened. Correct. Yeah. You know, the scenario is slightly different than what we're imagining when we're sitting there watching it. You know. Um, which we'll, we'll get to in the spoiler section. Yeah, which we'll get to in the spoilers because, like, there is a... Because the beginning of the movie is not the part where they've told you in the story that mm -hmm. there are vampires involved, um, the opening, while very exciting, emotionally reson resonance-wise, falls a little flat. I would agree. I would agree, yeah. You 100%. know. I also think that you probably could have told this movie without that opening. And it I probably, agree, It actually. probably would have still worked. Yeah. Um, but, I actually agree. But, um, uh, it, it, yeah, it's one of those, I probably would have rearranged the edit a little bit. <laughs> it added seven minutes to the run time. It did. There you yeah. go. <laughs> <clears throat> Alrighty then, so um, we watched this movie dubbed. I do not know if there's a subtitled version of it, but the dubbing of it actually wasn't that bad. It actually worked really well. Yeah, well, it's like, it, it's one of those movies that's like half in English, half in foreign language. Yeah, there was some weird moments where a person is referring to someone as talking in a different language, but they were both dubbed in English, so I didn't Yeah, know. so it's a little like, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that happened a couple times. And I was just like, oh, okay, I get it. It's because we're watching the dub version that that's a little off. Yeah, yeah, that's one of those, that's one of those things where like, sorry about that, uh, Netflix translators. You, yeah. You, they they, they kind of fucked you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, well. And uh, uh, it is currently available on uh, the Netflix. So if you want to watch it, you're gonna have to watch it on Netflix because it's a Netflix original movie. I almost guarantee it does not have a Blu-ray release right now. But if okay. it does, then uh, check it out. And I'm gonna edit this into earlier into the vlog because I just realized I forgot to mention this in the pre-spoiler section. So uh, let me mention it now. Um, uh, there's a dead dog in this movie. There's a dog that is killed in this movie, so. Does the dog die? Yes. So, you've been warned. Wait, when does that happen? Oh yeah, there's a dog. Remember when they first think that the guy's throat was slashed by the, uh, by by uh, by the vampire? Or when they when the throat is slashed by the vampire, but they think it was the dog who did it, so they shoot the dog. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you have been warned. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, blood, apparently someone's really bumping some badass tunes out there. I don't know if you can hear it. We can hear the subwoofer right now. <laughs> yeah, but there's a shotgun mic, so maybe it's not even. Maybe not, recorded. maybe not. Yeah. They probably, what you hear, what you do, probably can hear is you can probably hear that we're airing out the bathroom right now because we're having, we're having problems. Yeah. We're having problems. Difficulty. <laughs> trouble. And the problem is most likely Cat probably killed something that's rotting. <laughs> and it crawled between the walls to die. Fun! And then it did. And now it smells. <gasps> uh, gotta love them. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that said, uh, anything else before spoilers? No, no. I think we could just move on. All right. Then let us move on to the spoilers. Okay, so the mom is the vampire. Yes, she she is the vampire from the beginning, and the reason she is going from Germany to New York is that she is trying to connect with a doctor who thinks that he can cure vampirism. Yeah, and I really like the way they handle this because they kind of lead you to believe at the very beginning that she has like a rare form of leukemia, and that she's she's flying from Germany to the United States to meet with this one doctor that can cure the leukemia. But as the movie goes on, it becomes very clear that no, it's not leukemia. She's a fucking vampire. Yeah, she's a fucking vampire, and this is actually a world where enough people know what vampires are. There's actually research into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually a guy like researching it, and he thinks he knows how to cure it. Um, but it's still not well known because the people on the plane are unaware of the yeah, yeah, vampires. yeah. Normal people don't know. Just people who are directly affected exactly 
Um, so you get like her getting on the plane, you get the terrorists arriving and taking over the plane while it's in the air, her using some of her vampire powers to try to fight back against the terrorists um, until uh, one of them, when she's in a feral state, uh, gets away with a bite. And, yeah. uh, and that vampire ends up turning and then that one ends up turning all the other vampires uh, on the plane and then she ends up with a plane full of vampires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's basically one of those, like, you get the feeling that she probably would have... There are a lot of characters where you're like, oh, she she actually meant to kill that guy. It just didn't happen. Yeah, well, because what happens is, is that um, her struggle is, is that these are feral vampires. They're not... Yeah, vamp- you go nuts. Yeah. You're not like the aristocratic yeah. interview. They don't the have mind vampires. control abilities. No. What ends up happening is that when you get enough of the bloodlust, you lose complete control of yourself. And so she, her struggle is, is that she takes drugs to try to stop her from getting into that state. And there's a point in which she doesn't take the drugs so that she could fight off the terrorist, but then she loses control and that leads to a guy getting bitten and then not finished off. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And uh, then you end up with, you know, vampires yeah, popping she up tries, everywhere. She tries to kill one of the one of the terrorists because they're trying to kill the kid. You know, and so you have a movie that kind of starts off very die hard on a plane with badass mom, who's also a vampire. Um, but by the end of the movie, it is little kid and some of the other uh, characters that are still on the plane trying to survive the plane full of vampires while the mom has gone feral. Yeah. So... And you, and you get like the, the, these really cool emotional moments where like the kid is trying to get her mom, get his mom back. Um, and he does this at some point, but like yeah. later on in the movie, it becomes a lot harder. Um, yeah. She goes deeper and deeper into the vampirism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing these vampires can't do is fly. No, they can't, they can't fly. They can't transform. Um, there is a really cool fucking scene, though, where they throw one out of the plane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That scene's pretty fucking sweet. This movie has some pretty awesome action sequences. Um, for, yeah, yeah, it is a straight up action movie. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You get the badass terrorist action sequences, and then you get the vampire action sequences, and they're all fucking thrilling. Like, and the vampire action sequences, what they reminded me of the most is they reminded me of Aliens. We have yeah, the, we yeah. have them like yeah. crawling and popping out of like ceilings and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they're in a contained space. Yeah, you know they know the shit is there. Mm-hmm. They don't know what to do, and there is a thing that they got to make sure happens, i.e., landing the plane safely. Yep. That is imminent. Especially when you got the scenes where like the little boy is trying to like hide from the va- vampires that could smell them and stuff. And, yeah. You know, it's it's like when you had Newt and all the aliens around her. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and 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 the thing I liked is that the the kid is smart, but he doesn't come off as like mutant smart. No, no, he's he feels like a kid and not like a little adult, which I yeah. appreciate. Um, the one thing that he's just has more knowledge of than everyone else is that he's aware of vampires, and he's also um, well, he's very qu- well, yeah, because he because his mom is a vampire, he's very quick to adapt to yeah. the idea that other people are vampires. I do think he's a little naive at certain points, though, because there are certain points where he's just like, Mom, you promised me you wouldn't. And I'm sitting there going like, Motherfucker, terrorists are killing everyone. Yeah, terrorists, like, kid. She's, she's got to do something. Yeah, <laughs> terrorists, kid. Time to bring on the super strength. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Do this. I mean, sure, it didn't necessarily end in the best way for everyone, but <laughs> what was she well, supposed to do? Yeah, it's, well, yeah, it's definitely one of those. <laughs> it's one of those things where everything goes terribly wrong, but you're already in a situation where everyone's gonna die. Um, I also really like the uh, flashbacks to how she became the vampire. Uh, Oh, those were cool. Yeah. Yeah. With her husband getting taken by that one vampire, her successfully killing that vampire with the sun, and then that that vampire's dad, like, showing up, and then... Oh, dude, yeah, no, it gave you a really good idea. That that, that was one thing that was cool. It would have been really easy to ignore yeah the the well wait a minute how do vampires uh, how did she become a vampire and how do vampires operate yeah in this world but they do that in flashback and i really what i really like about that is it sets up stuff for later in the movie because like okay they can be killed by burning they can right. be killed by this. viral work sunnel work mm-hmm. these things will certainly work which you know become handy later in the movie when they're trying to get rid of the vampires yeah 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 and they also do that thing um in the movie that i really like which is when you arrive at a place and it is dawning yeah yeah you know like it's just sort of like oh you're sort of watching dawn happen and normally this wouldn't necessarily be a problem because you could fucking get yeah anywhere but it's a plane yep 
Where are you gonna go? The answer is below deck. <laughs> So when this movie first opened up, like I kind of had like, when it has the cold open where the plane lands and the military surrounds it, and then they take the kid out of the plane and there's the one guy in the cockpit that they think is a terrorist. <clears throat> oh geez. Yeah. Obviously you know that he's probably not actually a terrorist. Right, because I mean like, you, you if you go into this movie, you probably knew vampires on a plane because you probably read the Netflix description. So, right, yeah. <laughs> you know. So you'd be like, oh, this guy that they think is a terrorist. I thought at like, first that maybe the little kid was the vampire. like. Like, oh, like, see, I didn't, I didn't get that idea at all. But like, I could see that. Yeah, because I think what, I what actually. Think? Well, the thing was, is that I knew that the, going in that the mom was the vampire. Mm. You know, yeah, that part I didn't. I know. saw the trailer, <clears throat> and that's what tipped me off to what the movie was. Ah, gotcha. and I was like, oh, well, this sounds cool. Let's nice. watch this shit. Nice, you know? awesome. Like, I, I managed to somehow uh, miss that part. Um, so like when I was watching the movie, I kind of figured out she was a vampire as it, as it went on, and really yeah, yeah, yeah. If the kid had turned out <clears throat> to be a vampire, that would have been a, I that I would not have seen coming. That would have been a cool twist. Yeah, that'd be a great <laughs> twist, you know. But that's not the story. They told. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I really like the way the the movie like reveals all the pieces of information as it goes on. Yeah, it's, it's actually really well done, and I just. There's one point where one of the terrorists deliberately becomes a vampire. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that scene ah. with the car in the cargo hold. Oh dude, and oh, her yeah, trying yeah. to kill him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a car on the plane. Now here's the thing. I was expecting at any moment the fucking bay doors are gonna open and they're gonna have to drive that car. Oh yeah, out yeah. of the fucking plane and the, plumb it into the night or the something. The only thing, the only thing I had was I was just like, oh man, that would make so much sense if something like that happened. But does this movie have the budget to pull that off? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like, yeah, trap a bunch of vampires in that car and then just woo, fucking, woo and then just fucking watch that shit burn in the sun yeah. as it hits the ground. <laughs> But I really like the use of the car because, okay, so it's it's obviously a car that has the UV shielding on it and stuff. And it has- Oh, the, oh! <clears throat> that's what that was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hadn't put that together. Yeah. You know, but all right, all right, all right, go on. And go it's on. also, it apparently is bulletproof too. I'm not sure why it's bulletproof, but it's fucking bulletproof. Yeah, this is a bulletproof car. Um, and uh, one of the te one of the terrorists uh, gets bitten by her, and then hide. Or is it by her or by one of the other vampires? I can't remember. She he gets bitten, and he hides inside the. Uh... No, he injects himself with her yeah, blood. Yeah, he injects himself. That's with her right. Blood. That's right. He takes her blood when he figures out she's a vampire, and then injects himself with the blood, so he gets the more direct um, infusion. Um, while he's inside the bulletproof car and it's locked and she's trying to like shoot through the fucking glass but it won't work and she starts like jamming fucking poles into the yeah, glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those like, she's a vampire, she got super strength. If she really yeah. wanted to, she could just lift this whole fucking car up. But turns out bulletproof glass, that takes a couple hits. Yeah, so she starts like jamming things into it to try to stake him or take his yeah, head just, off. Yeah, just kill him before he actually turns into a vampire and he becomes harder, harder to kill. And eventually she comes upon lighting him on fire, like pouring gasoline into the fucking thing. Yeah. And lighting it. So he burns inside. And this still doesn't fucking kill him, by the way. Because this becomes the main vampire antagonist of the movie is this one terrorist guy who, at the beginning of the movie, is fucking psychotic. Like, yeah. he's so psychotic, you're sitting there going, like, why did the terror... Okay, the terrorists aren't really... Okay, they're terrorists, but it's obviously they have a... It's obvious they have a different motive. They have a different agenda that they never tell you about. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just like, like, die hard if they don't tell you that it's just a robbery. Yeah. You get the vibe that they, that they were there for something. Maybe it was the car, maybe it was something else. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It was something. But it obviously was not terrorism because they have to... Uh, uh, get two of the Arabic guys that were on the plane yeah. to read the note for the military to hear. Yeah, to make them think that it's like Islamic terrorists. Which is why at the end of the movie they think the one guy is a terrorist because he's an Islamic doctor who survived through the thing. And he's yeah. one of the guys they made read the note in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it makes sense that they would suspect <clears throat> it. You know. Um, and, and, uh, and, and you're sitting there going like, okay, so if this wasn't like an actual terrorist act and this was some sort of like robbery thing, why the fuck did you bring this psychotic son of a bitch with you? Yeah, no kidding, he, man. He's making this much more difficult than it needs to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's weird. Like, cause on, on the one hand you see it because you're like, well, 
On the one hand, we were just gonna kill everybody anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We were just gonna kill everybody anyway. But like, <clears throat> on the other hand, like, this is clearly a guy who's gonna go off the res. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, why the fuck would you bring a dude who's like that? Absolutely. Um... <laughs> But the actor's great. I, oh, I, yo, no, the actor's great. He was really like, fun to watch. Like, if you if you want to watch a guy be fucking psychotic and worry that he's going to kill anyone while raping a puppy, like, this guy's great. He's kind of got, like, a more aristocratic Richard Brake thing going on. Like, a, Yeah, kind of. You know? Like, yeah. I don't know what to call it, because it came across, like, you know what it came across? It came across very flamboyant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes off as very, you, you know, comes off as a bit of that uh, Euro trash. Yeah, you know. But he's he's a he's a fun to watch villain, and uh, you think that that uh, fucking Prison Break dude's gonna be the main villain, but he's actually taken out pretty quickly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> although he's although he he lasted longer than I expected. Him what to. I like about him is that the utility of having um, the mom kill him like that that easily kind of showed how strong the vampires were. Yeah, he's, exactly. He's this big fucking intimidating guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> this huge dude and then, you know, mom's just like, she just fucks Fuck him up. this. You know, don't need that. I'm a fucking vampire. That's Kiss the my ass. other thing I really liked about the car was there were many moments in which when the kid's hiding under the car, you watch the vampires just casually move the car. Yeah. Like it's nothing. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's really weird. It's one of those, it's one of those set pieces that you're sitting there going like, I know people do this, but this feels like a real contrivance. <laughs> this is a real contrivance right here. I think the biggest contrivance but, of it is that it's a bulletproof car. Yeah, sitting, yeah, exactly. I'm exactly. There going like, really? You're like, huh? Okay, whatever. You know, <laughs> but like, yeah, it's a total contrivance, but they keep using it. Yeah. And it works, and you you really, really love it. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah. You're just sort of like, oh, really? Like it, it's weird because it serves the car serves a double purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, not only is it part of uh, the scenery, it's all. It's not only is it a prop, it's also there to tell you what part of the plane you're in. True, true. Because once you see it, you immediately know you're in the car. Yeah, hold. you're in the cargo hold. You yeah. know. 100%. Like, I mean, they could have done that with just like boxes. And they actually like, do this really cool thing where they kind of show you a diagram of the plane at the very beginning, um, which becomes very useful later on in the movie when you start seeing them go through the different compartments. Yeah. You know, because 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 like like for a movie about such a contained space, I never was lost at where we were. Which I thought no, was... no, it, you you absolutely had an idea of where everyone was except when you weren't supposed to. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And uh, with that said, uh, where can they find you, Count Jackula? Oh, you can find me on Twitch at Count underscore Jackula on Twitch TV, where I stream every Thursday and Sunday. And I'm thinking about adding a third day in the week, uh, but haven't really decided on one yet. Okay. All right. Uh, and you can find me on Instagram at uh, Satanic Jackula. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Didn't. We got it. And uh, if you see me stream, please tweet it out because I have misplaced my Twitter authenticator phone. Yeah, so you can't really log into so Twitter. So I can't right log now. in at the moment until I find the damn thing. So if, if you want to help him out whenever he streams, tweet out his streams for him so that. Uh... Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> so that the rest of the slut pit can know that he's streaming. Yeah. Yeah, God, I just, man, what? I, Twitter was never a, per a great relationship, but now it's just getting flat out abusive. I know, I know. You know, like, Twitter's bad for me in general, and, and then you get you add shit like that on top of it. Yeah, and I'm like, I just fucking want to tell me I made this whole <laughs> presence on Twitter, and then it keeps fucking trying to cut my dick off. It's yep. really, really funny. I fucked anyway, where can they find you? <laughs> Y'all know me, I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitch, on Facebook, on Instagram, and uh, Twitter. Just look up the Horror Guru and, or Blood Spired Cinema and I'll be there. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you'd like to help out either of our channels more directly, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And if you made it this far into the vlog, then I want you to include in the comments below, hashtag hmm, Vampire Mom. Hashtag Vampire Mom. So that I know that you watch this vlog all the way through. So hashtag Vampire Mom. And uh, with that said, 
we're probably gonna record one more vlog and uh, then go see the Green Knight. So, uh, peace. Twitter broke my heart, man. It's just broke my fucking heart. <laughs> All these ex-girlfriends, but no, it was Twitter. It was Twitter, Twitter it did it, Twitter man. did it. <laughs> there, there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs>